After you leave the narcissist, these are what they say over and over, to make you return to their game. Hello everyone. Welcome to a crucial exploration of the intricate mind games played by narcissists post-breakup. Ever found yourself questioning the sincerity of your toxic partner's intentions after ending the relationship? You're not alone. In this eye-opening video, we unravel the manipulative techniques narcissists employ, known as hoovering, to pull you back into their web of deceit. Brace yourselves as we dissect the verbal cons and elaborate schemes they use to exploit your vulnerabilities and hinder your path to true freedom. Narcissists are peculiar in their denial of their own traits, a fact that often leads to significant friction in their relationships. In such relationships, there's often an underlying sense of unease, a gnawing worry in the pit of your stomach that questions whether they are being honest or deceitful. This vague sense of dread is nothing but your intuition, which can manifest itself as physical sensations in your body. However, empathetic and intuitive people tend to ignore their gut feelings, particularly when they are in relationships with narcissists, sociopaths, or psychopaths. It's a common occurrence, with these individuals often disregarding their intuition, which usually doesn't bode well for them. It's quite easy to misunderstand a narcissist's intentions when they seemingly go out of their way to win you back. Their manipulative tactics can often be mistaken for genuine regret and a sincere desire to mend the relationship. What's actually happening, however, is a clever exploitation of your emotions and time, planned to catch you at a weak moment especially when you're feeling vulnerable or introspective. This manipulative strategy is termed hoovering. Hoovering is a technique employed by manipulative and narcissistic individuals who aim to lure their victims back into a relationship with them. They do this by demonstrating improved or desirable behavior. The term derives its name from the Hoover vacuum cleaner, symbolizing how the hoovering narcissist not only wishes to draw you back into the relationship, but also eventually treats you with little respect much like dirt. Now let's talk about the verbal trickery often used during hoovering. It's common knowledge to steer clear of people who seem mentally unstable or abusive, and certainly not to engage or maintain intimate relationships with such individuals. However, narcissists, along with psychopaths and sociopaths, are experts at concealing their personality flaws and their harmful agendas. The narcissist in your life uses very specific psychological manipulation techniques in an attempt to win you back, all the while harboring hidden secrets that could quite literally bring you to your knees if revealed. In this video, we delve deep into the intricate web of deceptive tactics employed by narcissistic individuals, especially those who are in an intimate relationship with you. We aim to shed light on the common verbal ploys they use to manipulate you into rekindling a relationship with them thereby hindering your path to liberation and a peaceful life, devoid of their distressing antics. First on the list is the all-too-familiar proclamation, I've decided to go to counseling. Imagine this scenario, you've endured countless incidents of emotional manipulation, unexpected disappearances, and back-and-forth games from your toxic partner. Finally, you muster the courage to tell them that you can no longer bear this tumultuous existence, and you terminate the relationship. After a while, they reappear, gazing at you with an unwavering expression of sincerity, and declare, I've pondered over what you said. I realize its significance, and I want to salvage our relationship, so I've decided to go to counseling. However, the harsh reality is that this apparent dedication to resolving issues and attending counseling is nothing more than a clever ruse employed by the narcissist. This could relate to their problems with anger management, alcoholism, excessive jealousy, infidelity, or sex-slash-porn addiction, and often a mix of all these issues. This promise of seeking professional help is merely a strategy to buy time, they have no real intent to be truthful in their therapy sessions. In fact, they exploit this opportunity to paint you as the unstable one, learning the appropriate jargon during these visits to manipulate your perception of reality further. As someone who loves the narcissist, you might desperately want to believe in their sincerity, hoping that they will return to the person they were at the beginning of your relationship. They might even shed a few tears to make their act more convincing. However, the sad truth is that a significant number of narcissists resort to this tactic. Before you know it, they revert to their old ways, and the abuse escalates. 
It's exceedingly rare to find a documented instance where a victim of narcissistic abuse has experienced a genuinely happy resolution due to the narcissist's supposed introspective decision to seek counseling. More often than not, it results in the victim needing therapy themselves due to the psychological manipulation and mind games that follow once they are tricked back into the relationship. Have you ever been in a situation where you were told, I met them the last time we were on a break? I swear, I don't have any romantic feelings for them, but they just happened to come into my life when we were apart, and now they won't leave. I tried my best to distance myself. Or, perhaps you've heard something along the lines of, I was only with them because I felt like you weren't fully committed to me. This statement, the second in a series of manipulative tactics often employed by narcissists, is designed to make you overlook their unfaithful behavior. The hope is that you'll forgive them, believing they're just like any other person seeking love and companionship. This tactic also provides the perfect platform for the narcissist to engage in a psychological game known as triangulation, where they pit you against another person to create tension and competition. It's a way for them to gaslight you, altering your perception of reality to make you feel insecure and confused. At the same time, it makes them seem more desirable, as if they're highly sought after, which further undermines your self-esteem. You might find yourself thinking, maybe they're straying away because I'm not attractive enough. The other person is likely more confident than I am, and the narcissist is drawn to that. Or, it could be that I ruined everything by breaking up with them, and now I'm losing my chance at true love. This situation is a scheme meticulously crafted by the narcissist, with the sole intention of making you feel threatened by the prospect of losing them. The fear drives you to go to any lengths possible to retain their affection and attention. What you may not realize during these distressing episodes is that this is not an isolated incident. It's part of a recurring pattern because narcissists, particularly those of the somatic and histrionic types, are always juggling multiple relationships at different stages with various people. It's also quite possible that your toxic partner met the new person long before you decided to take a break from your relationship. The third tactic in the narcissist's playbook is the infamous, can we just be friends? Once upon a time, you were their everything, their world, their universe. But then, they cheated on you or left you for someone else, professing their undying love for this new person. You were left heartbroken, picking up the pieces of your shattered heart, trying to understand why you weren't enough. They gave you countless reasons why you could never be their ideal partner. However, after a few days, weeks, or months, they reappear in your life with a heart-wrenching tale of confusion and regret. They tell you that they made a mistake and that they can't imagine a life without you. And then, in the midst of this emotional turmoil, they look at you with a contemplative expression and say, I know we can't be together, but I care about you a lot, and I don't want to lose you completely. Can we just be friends? But here's the harsh truth. When a narcissist says, let's be friends, it often translates to let's be friends with benefits. It's a trap you should avoid at all costs. Falling into this trap will lead you into a chaotic, turbulent world, where you'll find yourself tolerating their multiple sexual partners, their frequent disappearances, and making regular trips to the doctor to ensure that you haven't contracted an STD. It's tempting to believe the narcissist when they come back, seemingly regretful and remorseful pretending to have second thoughts about their decision. But the truth is, they've come to a realization. They've realized that someone else might try to win your heart, and they can't let that happen. They want to keep you on the hook, dangling at the end of their line, always available for them. Being friends with their ex also serves as a perfect cover for their public image. It makes them look like the kind, compassionate individual who is capable of maintaining friendships with their past partners. And when the smear campaign starts, they'll have the perfect excuse, I stayed friends with her because I felt sorry for her, even though she's going around telling everyone how abusive I am. And there you have it, the narcissist playing the role of the good Samaritan. Number 4, I knew you weren't the right person for me. The narcissist, after a tumultuous journey filled with your persistent efforts to keep the relationship afloat amidst their constant emotional explosions and the gaping holes they left in your relationship, concludes the entire saga with a self-satisfied proclamation, I knew you weren't the right person for me. The reality, this tactic might seem contradictory at first glance. 
It appears as if the narcissist is pushing you away. However, in most instances, this move is nothing more than a calculated strategy designed to keep you trapped in a demoralizing cycle where you are constantly striving to prove your worth and regain their affection. You thus find yourself striving to restore your dented image, attempting to breathe life back into your deteriorating relationship, and clinging on to the hope of a favorable outcome. You walk on eggshells, you become the epitome of compliance, you yearn for the return of happier times. But what goes on in the mind of the narcissist when it comes to the potential revival of the relationship? Far from being grateful that you're willing to give the relationship another shot, the narcissist views your desperate attempts to win them back as proof of their dominance and irresistible allure. In the narcissist's twisted perspective, your efforts to resurrect the relationship are clear indicators of your emotional dependence on them. And they will exploit your vulnerability and emotional fragility to the maximum. Once they've lured you back into the relationship, they will immediately resort to manipulative tactics to benefit from your emotional state. Number 5. I'm sorry for hurting you, and I promise to make it up to you. This is a widely favored tactic employed by narcissists of all kinds, with the notable exception being the cerebral narcissist. This is primarily because people who end up as partners to narcissists are usually compassionate, empathetic, tolerant, selfless, and forgiving in nature. Narcissists have no reservations about manipulating these qualities to their own advantage. When the narcissist comes back bearing gifts such as flowers and jewelry, shedding crocodile tears and getting down on bended knee for dramatic effect, their empathetic partner melts like putty. They conveniently forget all the past transgressions and start envisioning a brighter future, one that includes growing old together and taking leisurely walks in the park while holding hands. The reality However, the narcissist's perspective on reconciliation is vastly different from yours. Their thoughts are primarily focused on how they can reconnect with their backup supply now that you've disrupted their routine by demanding to be treated with the respect you rightly deserve. Number 6. You are the only one I truly love. The manipulative behavior of narcissists is notorious, particularly in the realm of romantic relationships. They are infamous for their lack of fidelity, often engaging in multiple relationships simultaneously. However, they have a cunning way of rationalizing their actions. They may claim that they are a sex addict, or that they are simply not good at maintaining monogamous relationships. They might portray their other relationships as mere flings, devoid of any emotional attachment. For them, the only person they truly love is you. You are depicted as the beacon of light in their life, the only one who accepts them, despite their flaws. You are portrayed as their safe haven, the place they return to at the end of a tumultuous day, a sanctuary where they can let their guard down and escape their worries. The narrative they spin paints a picture of a strong bond between you and them, a bond that exists despite the odds. They admit that they are flawed, perhaps even slightly unhinged, but they assure you that it is your deep connection that makes them love only you. After all, don't they always find their way back to you? Don't they share your bed? Number 7. I've experienced a sudden insight. Imagine this scenario. As the narcissist was en route to their workplace, a sudden revelation dawned upon them. They realized, in a moment of what they claimed to be clarity, that the two of you were destined to be together. In their narrative, it was as if all the pieces of the puzzle had fallen into place within a few fleeting seconds. They expressed surprise and bewilderment at how they had been oblivious to this truth all along. In fact, they were so convinced by this newfound insight that they suggested the idea of marriage, and they insisted that the sooner it happened, the better. Reality, however, the harsh truth is that no matter how much you expose your vulnerabilities and share your pain, it will not result in the narcissist undergoing a miraculous transformation. It is futile to expect that a divine intervention would occur, enlightening the narcissist about the emotional distress they have inflicted upon you, and making them repent for their actions. Unfortunately, such a scenario is nothing more than wishful thinking. The toxic nature of relationships with narcissists almost always guarantees a disappointing outcome. It is crucial to accept the fact that your relationship with the narcissist will not be an exception to this rule. The narcissist will not suddenly develop a moral compass when they are desperately trying to lure you back into the relationship. Narcissists have no qualms about resuming the relationship from where it was left off, 
completely disregarding the emotional and psychological trauma they caused that led to the initial breakup. As long as the narcissist remains in your life, you will never regain control over your self-esteem or emotions. Every seemingly innocent action or comment from them carries a hidden cost. They have ulterior motives behind every single thing they say and do. While breaking the no-contact rule might provide a brief respite, the long-term consequences could be detrimental, if not devastating. It is impossible to find genuine relief from the very person who inflicted the pain. Ending a relationship with a narcissist necessitates completely cutting them off from your life, without giving them an opportunity to justify their actions. This is because any explanation they provide will likely be another attempt to manipulate you. Therefore, it is essential to maintain your distance and protect yourself from their harmful influence. Thank you for joining us on this journey of understanding the dark artistry behind narcissistic manipulation. If you found this information enlightening, don't hesitate to hit that like button, share this video with those who might benefit, and subscribe for more insightful content. Breaking free from a narcissist is not just a challenge, it's a necessity for your well-being. Stay vigilant, stay empowered, and break the chains that bind you. Your support means the world, and until next time, take care, prioritize your peace, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable insights.